Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we want to talk about uh, frost seeding. Right now it's a hot topic on the uh, Facebook scene. A lot of questions going on. And uh, just wanted to chat a little bit about that today. Now, uh, this is prime time. This is uh, middle of March, towards the end of March. is really good timing. Um, right here in Pennsylvania, I think uh, Mother Nature's drunk. And we are having very warm days like today it's 50 some degrees last week it was 70s and you can see behind me uh we had snow and tonight we're expecting four to seven inches it's crazy here in pa but uh it is prime time for that i'm gonna personally wait a little bit till all this unsettled weather is all finished up i'm gonna give it a couple of weeks but um yeah, these, these guys are all asking questions on Facebook, wanting to know what's a good time to do this frost seeding thing, and it is it is time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, in the south, you may have already frost seeded. Uh, it was probably prime time for you right now. Uh, it may have been a week or two ago. Uh, you're probably getting warmer weather soon. Um, some of the really down south folks may not get the frost so just make sure you're putting it out uh, before a good rain hits um, not a downpour that's going to wash it away but a good soaker establishing spring plots is not always a good time with the weed competition that you have you may have to do some spraying as i will have to do here in this spot uh, this was a a uh, plot that i had last year it was a no-till experiment and I did not use gly on it and uh, the weeds really came on we had an exceptionally humid wet summer which really bred those weeds if you're gonna put the glide on it needs to be at least uh, ground temperature over 50 so keep that in mind looking behind me at uh, some stuff here that I've had in it's a uh, last year's plot it has clover and chicory that was in it and have these rising temperatures in the daytime and freezing at night that allows that small hard seed to fall down in the cracks and get swallowed up by the dirt so you have good contact now one other thing that i wanted to say was uh you know a lot of these guys are out there asking if they could put it on top of the snow and do it before rain and yes you can but use your head a little bit um, if you got a lot of really swampy ground that if it's too wet I would not do that I would wait till it dries up a little bit um, avoid really wet spots and swampy areas get all the debris and leaf litter off use whatever you have whatever means you have to do you have to get out here and rake uh, use a blower whatever it may be get that stuff off you gotta have the good contact with soil it is possible to proceed to rot or mold um i i would just use your use your head on that a little bit but yeah i'm going to turn around here and show you behind me here was that area that i showed you last week that they timbered and uh so i want to make sure that i get something in there so that uh when they're in their bedding they have a short distance to come to feed um, like I said, important steps is not too wet. Make sure you have a little bit of dry moisture. <clears throat> but get the leaf litter, all the debris off. Get that good soil to seed contact. So, hey, we're going to end it here. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet. And uh, I see that that's a big trending thing right now. Everybody's asking questions on Facebook. If you got any questions, drop them below. We'll talk about it. 
hey, we'll see you on the next video.